Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? It's VLD. Sorry about having no videos out. I kind of changed everything up a little bit. I was going to do separate videos. My last set with the iClaver didn't do so hot. So I combined these into one video instead of having four videos for a week or two. I'm doing a combined video, four different keyboard reviews, glancing over a few things, getting the meat to it. Now let's get started. Typically, I travel a lot. I'm in my car, school, work, whatever. So the iClaver BKO5 with my iPad Mini 6, my perfect go-to. It works. It's small. It's compact. I even have one for my work iPad. With this folding keyboard, I do a lot of data inputting, some schoolwork, just a little bit of everything, but I kind of want one with USB Type-C. So it's today's video, our folding keyboards with USB Type-C. I've checked a couple different websites. I found a couple different ones. The first one, unfortunately, it's not a USB Type-C, but it's really cool. I'm not going to lie, I actually really like this. This is mini wireless keyboard backlit touchpad, air, mouse, IR. Essentially, you have to put the receiver into the USB dongle receiver into whatever the backside is is essentially a trackpad. The other side's a keyboard with your thumbs. So this is a cool device. It gives you more of like a regular trackpad, no multi-touch, right, left click, the usual stuff. But I like the backlight, how you flip it over. It has a gyroscope in which whatever you flip it over, the backside will not activate. Unfortunately, I wish this was Bluetooth. As long as you, even with your iPad, if you have a USB hub plugged in, you plug this in, it will work. I kind of wish it was Bluetooth because this thing is really cool. I really like this. It has our black or you can connect to your TV. I've tried that. It doesn't work with my Roku TV. So unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. I'll list everything down below. You can get this off AliExpress for about 17 bucks. It has a little dongle for the receiver. I wish it was Bluetooth, but this thing is really cool. Off to the second one. This one is the Fold Folding Foldable Wireless Bluetooth Keyboard USB Type-C for Windows, Android, iOS, iPad, blah, blah, blah. So essentially for short, I was very skeptical about this one just because the build quality from the photos really seemed indifferent. Open up inside the box, you have your basic instructions, you know, to connect anything to Bluetooth, but the build quality is more of a cheaper plastic you get from like a remote control from a dollar store from 1980s. The hinge mechanism and the build quality is kind of lackluster. Essentially, it feels cheap. The hinge mechanism, it feels over-engineered, it's wobbly. It does charge via USB Type-C, so that's good. So one cable solution for all your life. You have your indicator light for up to three different devices you can connect to it, look and feel and hear that hinge mechanism. I don't know if it's over engineered or it's over complicated, but it's just loose. It's really flimsy. It's just, no, you can pick this up for 30 bucks. The typing experience, once you have it connected, it goes a couple seconds. It goes really quick, but the typing experience is, it's not really there. I kind of figure the typing experience would be like the Logitech K280, which I love that keyboard. It was one of my favorite Bluetooth ones a couple years ago. It just feels fairly loud luster. It just feels underwhelming. The build quality kind of subpar. Typing is not that great. Compared to the BK05, I can type out a report on that super quick. Best folding keyboard ever. But there's one glaring issue. On the meh one on the right, you see how the keys are not really that raised. With the BK05, when you press it in, they go roughly to the frame of the keyboard. With this one, once you type, it goes beyond the frame. It gets sucks up into the frame. But if you're typing all day, it will slow you down. And the typing experience is just really underwhelming. It's just, it's not really good. The hinge is bad. It creaks. It folds. I was skeptical when I got this. My suspicions were correct. And this device is just one you should avoid. Trust me. The second folding keyboard I have review, Bow HB318 mini Bluetooth keyboard and touchpad. I figured this would be kind of like the BK08 by a Clever. Inside the box, you were given USB Type-C to type a charger, your instructions, your basic stuff, this cloth case they give you. The material feels like from a couch from like the 1960s, but it just, it feels like a couch my grandma would own. So nostalgia, I guess. But as you can clearly see, this does charge, you know, USB Type-C but it has a distinct similarity to the iClever family folding keyboards because the same design language is just like the iClever BK05. It opens the same, it folds the same. Honestly, it looks the same and it feels the same, which is not a bad thing because iClever is a fantastic keyboard. When you open it up, it's the same thing. It feels just as good as the iClever keyboard, which is a fantastic thing because typing is good. This trackpad, think of it like a regular trackpad, no multi-touch. 
only a downside, clicking for the left and right mouse buttons are in the bottom corner, which is kind of okay. You have to really hit the corners to actually hit the buttons. Besides that, it's a trackpad. One finger swipe, two finger gestures swipe up and down, three finger gestures swipe down to go home up the last application left to right for multitasking four finger gesture taking a photo but i mean the trackpad isn't bad it works just fine one finger click and drag pinch to zoom will work with the browser only the browser just because it's more like zooming in and nothing else you can pick this off aliexpress for about 40 bucks or so free shipping this is a really good keyboard and so far it's the best of them really when you do control plus or minus that's how you zoom in in gallery you can't really zoom in. Typing is fantastic. If you enjoy the typing by the iClever family keyboards, you will not be disappointed with this because typing is fantastic. The keys are big. They're almost as big as BK05. They're a little bit thinner, but longer. Folding it, the feel of it, the design language, typing. Essentially, this is a iClever keyboard with a USB Type-C charging. It's not a full-size keyboard. It's about 70% with the trackpad. That's pretty good. You can connect up three different devices with with this it charges usb type c honestly this is a really fantastic device this is the best one of a lot of them so far which i mean it's not saying much but this is a really good device for the price point of 40 bucks you are given a good keyboard with a trackpad that's fairly good also granted you are not given multi-touch nothing's ever perfect this is a really good one if you like the iClever let's say bk08 this is basically that essentially just better the build material is a hard plastic it's not steel grade aluminum from the iClever series. Really good. I recommend this. I want to say this will probably drop on Amazon here soon because usually it trickles down from AliExpress, Alibaba to Amazon eventually. Off to the last keyboard, ProtoArc for short. It has a long name off Amazon, but you can pick this up for 50 bucks. It usually goes on sale for 40. I believe that's how much I bought it for. But essentially anything from the bow keyboard, this is equally as good. Looks like a BK05, just bigger, four rubber feet. Inside the box, you are giving your basic instructions, you know, the usual stuff. You will connect to any device, three of them. Comes with a USB Type-C charger. But essentially this is a bigger version of the bow keyboard. It feels the same, it is a little bit more of a premium feel to it looks just the same just bigger which not a bad thing typing experience is equally as good if not better because this one is huge this is bigger than my bk05 i mean the bk05 was big this thing is a monster it looks the same it feels the same it's slightly more premium plastic but once you open it up connect up to three different devices i like how they label it in orange but the main thing about this one is compared to the bk05 is you are given a number pad so if you like that cool that's good for you but comparing the size to all of them this thing is huge trust me all five of my keyboards are out with my ipad mini 6 i have options which that's a good thing because consumers like options i have the mx master keyboard which that thing is a monster this is a monster that folds with teeth this is a fantastic typing experience. It's big, it's compact because it folds. Typing experience, hands down, the best. But it's big though. When you connect via Bluetooth, connects fairly. I'm gonna gloss over the keyboard a little bit because what I say with the bow one, this is a really good typing experience. Probably my best one. It's cheap, it's fairly compact with the backpack or bag. You can't really put this in your pocket. It charges USB Type-C. Fantastic device, hands down. It is a little bit too big for me. The BK05 is probably about a good weight size for me it's micro usb which you know it came out years ago so i mean it happens but the bow one and the proto arc one are really good trackpad is average you get what you pay for but the the first folding keyboard i reviewed is just trash don't buy it trust me i just the hinge mechanism the build quality it's just cheap it's just the build quality is lackluster but probably my favorite one is the first one i reviewed hands down i love that thing so my bk05 has has some real competition now. If you want a keyboard with a trackpad, the Bow one is a good alternative. And if you want a big full-size keyboard with a number pad, the Proto Arc one is a good alternative because it, it does everything that you need. I have scoured the internet for other folding keyboards with Type-C charging. I brought you two which are good, one which is really lackluster, and yeah, no, these are really good products. I recommend them. I will list everything down below. Like always, I'm your host, Viola D. Smash 
smash that bell, subscribe, stay tuned for all upcoming content. I am on other social media platforms, so if you want to follow me, I will link all that down below on Instagram, TikTok, because why not?